Hi, I'm Dr. P.K. Hajra. And today I'll be speaking on left atrial appendix closure with the help of TE, the anatomy, the basic funda of left atrial appendix. Now this appendage is very small and cute structure and it has got its entry point. It's not always circular and uh, sometimes it's oval. Many devices which are available in India, they have a disc like amulet, lambre. They sit here and they occlude the ostium of the lepretal appendage. The ACP, the landing zone of the tire or the lobe is here. The umbrella is in. On the other side, you have circumplex. This side is pulmonary vendridge, down mitral valve. You can see these things on 3D TE, 4D on ice, on 3D biplane. The TE shows two dimensions. The short diamonds and long dimensions. Both are sometimes uh, valuable in deciding what size of a closer device you use. But most of the time, we are happy with the 2D T imaging by plane. And you know, this structure is very delicate structure. And it's like an ear. There are many descriptions, chicken wing, windsaw, cauliflower. And these are anterior structure. So your puncture should be posterior and uh, sometimes it folds back. It has got its neck. It has got its apex. This is the landing zone. And uh, most of the time, if we can close this appendix on just TE, you don't need eyes. But eyes do not need general anesthesia or esophageal, uh, like uh, if you have any esophageal problem, cirrhosis, varices, you may find some difficulty. So most of the time we do it under general anesthesia, but deep sedation is also possible. Now, once you have the sheath, uh, there will be some stretching, some distortion of the appendage, what you see on TE, but this sheath can be seen on, seen on TEE. And the proscopic imaging is basically the marker are seen. On TE, you can nicely see this disc of the amulet and the lobe, which is inside. And you can see each and everything, the cable, the trump track appearance of the sheath, thrombus formation, uh, and uh, any complication like dislodgement immediately after releasing. So this procedure is very, very safe nowadays, the help of TEE. If your septal puncture is posterior inferior, then rest of the things should be done under TE guidance. And uh, fluoroscopy can help you with the movement of the wear and the devices. But TE is the most important thing. Now this appendix, has got a very thin membrane structure and it has got many uh, pectinate like many ridges inside. And sometimes the depth of the lobe varies on TE and um, on TE, there are certain things we want to look for the successful implantation of device that is a certain dimension. Now, osteal dimensions are very important and that gives you a rough idea what size of ACP or amulet you use. If you use Watchman, then 20% of oversize, that means if it is 20 millimeter, 20 into two, that is uh, around uh, four millimeter, that is 24 millimeter device approximately, you should take. And uh, for Watchman, this depth is important because it is oblong and it's just like a cherry. And for SCP depth is not important, amulet depth is not important because SCP has a different mechanism of uh, sealing of the appendage. They have a disc, which is usually saucer separate. The central point, the pin, 
and they have a lobe here. So you take 10 millimeter on T at zero degree or other degrees like 45, 90 and 135. So each is separated by 45 degrees, 45 plus 45, 90, 90 plus 45 plus 135. And we take all the measurements possible when you are doing a closer. So capture those images, you could review those images. And sometimes you can see thrombus here, thrombus there. If you have a pre-floating thrombus, you cannot do a closer. If the thrombus is here, most of the devices, which comes from the LA cavity, and it's a fish ball or fish ball or um, any kind of onion shaped ball, you just walk in and this thrombus gets sealed and uh, there should not be too much of manipulation. Now, while you are doing and helping the operator for the implantation, the movement of the wear, the movement of the sheath, movement of the device, size of the device, whether you are too much in and too much superficial, the release pattern, whether the device has popped up, you push and pull, the Minnesota tug, everything can be observed nicely on TE. That's why T is the most preferred uh, method of uh, imaging during LA closer. Now, some people can uh, do T without T. They can have ice, as I mentioned, ice is expensive. The beauty of ice is like, you don't have to go through the esophagus. And uh, if you have patient who has got esophageal problem, doesn't require any sedation. So these are the beauties of ice. Now on fluoroscopy, you, you have image intensifier, Epicranial is equal to zero degree on your T. Audiocranial is 45 degrees. So image intensifier, if it is looking towards the patient's scalp, it is zero degree. If it is looking towards the right shoulder, it is 45 degrees on the T. And audiocranial, we call it in conventional term. 90 degrees means your image intensifier, which is lying on the upper surface of the body, the top of the patient is looking towards the liver, right-sided, and we call it RO30. 135 degrees is the best view for the OS, and it is mandatory for watchmen. And some people take uh, other degrees, like if they cannot reach 135 degrees, you have to flex the TE Pro, and the image intensifier is looking towards the groin. So audio caudal, that is equivalent to your, so these are the basic things you should know. And uh, this is 45 degrees. If you just flip, I mean, reverse this thing, you can have the corresponding image on the angiogram. So this is audio cranial, this is audio caudal, same thing here. So this is very, very important to understand that your device is going to land here, the ACP or the amulet, or Lambre, and the other device, as I said, will land in the ostium. So different measurements are taken, and circumplex is always the, the lighthouse on uh, TE. This is anterior, this is posterior, this is lateral, this is medial, towards the circumplex medial. And um, so these are the views which will help us in successful implantation of the device. We also look for the compressions on the shoulder point in watchmen. It's just like Indian colors. This is a pin. This is usually measured on different views. You have to put a color here. And once you put the color, you can see that the most of the time uh, there is no side leak. Now, LA volume dimensions, LA uh, morphometrics, other metrics can be measured on TE, uh, like LA velocity, et cetera, as a precursor of atrial fibrillations. But these are most of the time theoretical. In any way, you have to put them on uh, newer oral antiquarian. So there may be different uh, shape and configuration of the same device. These are all successfully implanted device. Sometimes it's looking like a popped up uh, device 
and um, before you release, you must confirm that it is, uh, I mean, more than 50% is behind or below the circumflex, which is always posterior. And the circumflex tissue holds the device and the pulmonary ridge is another marker. You should have two third of the device like watchman. And of course you have the landing zone uh, for your emulate and ACP. And if you have followed those steps, it is not possible to embolize. Now eyes, as I show here, is different shape, made very bright shadows. And uh, you can go for eyes by plane. And on eyes, actually it is inside the LA appendage. Uh, sometimes you have to keep in a pulmonary vein, but most of the time we try to keep it in the LA body. Then the rest of the things like release, recapture, the thrombus formation, compressions, are just like T. In the follow-up, we also like to see on T whether they have developed a device-related thrombosis, not that always it translates into stroke, Sometimes this uh, can give rise to a false impression of a thrombus. So these are the fabric and some endothelium here and there. And sometimes it is not always possible to look into the detail of the thrombus. It may be heel thrombus. So as I said, uh, this is the pulmonary vein ridge. This is the circumflex, 10 millimeter here. Then uh, this is most of the devices here. This is the lobe. This is the disc and uh, these, are, these are the hooks. And you can get a different shape on, now the dimensions uh, on T, you have to tell the operator whether this is possible to close. Alien neck dimensions like alien depth, thrombus, extremely eccentric sections, extremely angulated. These are the things we look on T. So ladies and gentlemen, to summarize then, the T is very important in sizing the device and proper placement of the device. It is done under general anesthesia with full hydrations. LA pressure should be more than 10 millimeter, 0, 45, 90, 135. These four T measurements are very important. If you cannot get 135, fair enough, you can work on 0, 45, and 90 degrees. Try to catch as maximum as possible images try to analyze with your colleagues. And uh, the sizing of the device is the most important thing for LA closure success. And before releasing the device, you can see whether the device is uh, moving out from the LA appendix pocket, whether the device is compressed. If it is 20%, uh, eight to 20% should be minimum. And majority of the device should be inside the LA appendage and uh, you have to do this procedure under heparin. And if you develop any thrombus, remove all the, and ask that on T you are seeing something funny and you have to ask the operator to remove everything flush, remove the thrombus, then, then reinsert. And once you are uh, seeing any kind of uh, device dislodgement, immediately you have to tell the operator that the device is no more seen in, in, the, in the pocket or the early appendage. And most of the time, this retrieval is done under fluoroscopy as well as T guidance. But if you have a T image in your mind, uh, and if you have sized the device properly, many, many times uh, you may seem that the device has popped up a little bit, but once you release the device after a good tug, it goes in. So there is a tendency of the device to get sucked in once you release because of the contraction of the electrical appendage. Now TE is the best thing to have in our country because of the economy and ease of use and experience. The ice can replace TE if you have a contraindication to TE. But again, as I said, most of the studies and most of the operators in India, they prefer TE. I also prefer TE. In the setting of AF or any heart failure with reduced ejection fractions, the appendage dimension give you some ideas about uh, the volumetrics, but for device procedure, uh, these volumes are not that important. There are certain limitations of uh, 
TE, if you have very obese patients, always it is um, the difficulty may arise, but most of the time it is successful. With that, I would like to thank for your kind attention. T is most essential thing to learn for future. Intervention on the left side, meet mitral clip, uh, LA appendix closure, mitral paravalvular leak, or you have any device which will be placed across the septum. Thank you very much.